Hi guys, it's Amy with Feel Better with Yoga, and today I'm bringing you a new chair yoga class that is accessible to everybody, pretty much everybody. So right now during the coronavirus scare, we're, um, we're stressed out more than ever. And we, before this, we're already living in a state of fight or flight all the time that we have trouble getting out of. So now with everything that's changing in all of our lives worldwide, now we need more than ever before to remember to take some time to take care of ourselves and teach ourselves some skills to help us get through this. So come to a chair that's comfortable. You can take your shoes off or leave them on. Doesn't matter, whatever feels good, whatever your feet need to do right now. Close your eyes, sit up tall, and take a few deep, slowed breaths in and exhale them out completely and really notice them. Notice what that feels like. Imagine you're taking a breath because the doctor's listening to your chest. One more like that. Deep, full breath in. Sigh everything out. Now you can continue with that type of breathing or you can go back to your normal, regular rate of breathing, whatever you want to do. But we're going to turn ourselves from that mode of doing and thinking and planning and problem solving and worrying. And just for this time, right now, let ourselves switch over into the mode of non-doing, which is the state of being, being present. But how do you do that? We let ourselves be present by noticing only the things that we can actively focus on that are happening right now in this moment. We start to, turn to, start to turn our focus inward to our senses. So everything that you can hear, everything that you can see once we open our eyes, everything that you can feel and even taste or smell, and we're letting those things that are happening right now keep us present, keep us grounded, and keep our racing brains from ruminating and looping over past and future. So notice everything that you can hear around you and through this video. And now notice everything that you can feel. Feel this shape, this three-dimensional outline of your body and the space that you take up. Feel how tall you are. Imagine there's a string attached to your head, gently lifting you taller, putting some extra length in your spine. Feel your breath moving in and out of your torso. Feel it fill up and expand. And as you exhale, feel all that soften and return to neutral. Slide your awareness down to your bottom and your legs and your feet and notice what you're coming into contact with. Because I have shorts on, I feel the skin on the backs of my legs sticky against this hard chair. I feel how hard the chair is. I feel the muscles in my hips and thighs, and when I pay attention to them, I can let them relax so I'm not holding tension there. And then really notice the soles of your feet and how anchored in place they are to what's ever beneath you. Notice what your feet feel, and maybe it's, I'm feeling cool grass and dirt. Maybe you feel carpet or hard floor. Maybe you feel the texture of your socks and your shoes. Notice if you have shoes on, where your toes meet your shoes. <laughs> and that bird's gonna, gonna put his two cents in. But as with life, I'm just gonna listen to it. Go, huh, there he is. Take one last breath here in stillness, and as you exhale, let your head fall forward slowly and gently. Rock it a little bit, or don't. Do whatever your neck wants to feel right now, however it needs to stretch and move. And then we'll start circling the head as we breathe, breath moving our head. Inhale one shoulder to one ear, and then let it fall back to the other side. And as you exhale, let your heavy head fall forward. Go around a couple more times in that direction, breath moving you as it moves through you.
once more. And then switch directions, other side. And then pick your head back up to neutral. Bring your fingertips up to your shoulders. Hold on lightly with your fingers and we'll circle the elbows. Just bring in some movement and circulation back into the shoulders. Inhale, shoulders and lift up, elbows up, pull them back, exhale them down. Keep that moving. Breathe them up and open. Exhale, sigh them down. Keep that moving. Two more. Doesn't matter how high you lift your elbows, every bit of movement you can do is more than you were doing before you did this video. And then switch directions. Inhale, elbows pull back, reach them up. Exhale them forward and down. One more. And then relax, let go of your shoulders, let your arms hang down beside you. And as we breathe, pick up one arm out to the side, inhale it all the way up, straight up, or if it feels good, even over. Exhale that arm all the way down. And when you need to breathe again, breathe the other arm out and up, reach, and exhale it down. All the movement we do in yoga is good for our bodies, but more than anything, it's through movement allowing us to find stillness in our minds, giving us something more to focus on. Feel the sensations as you move your arm. Notice where you feel that. I feel it in, under my arm and in my ribs, in each shoulder. I feel the air on my skin. Exhale that one down. Next breath. Breathe both arms all the way up to the ceiling or the sky. Exhale, gently twist to one side. Arms opening wide and soft. Inhale, face forward. Arms lift. Exhale to the other side. And just keep that moving. One continuous flowing movement. Obviously, we feel this in our shoulders and arms. But maybe you even feel it in your waist and belly those muscles that are causing you to turn. One more to the side. And inhale, face forward, arms reach. Exhale, bring your arms straight out in front of you, palms facing each other, fingers wide. Inhale, open, arms as wide back as they'll comfortably go. Exhale, them back together in the front, reaching forward a little so you feel that opening in the upper back. Keep that moving. In everything we do in yoga, the goal is simply to be mindful and noticing what we're feeling as we're breathing and noticing that. So there is no goal in yoga. The goal is in the process and the experience of noticing. Pema Trojan asked, if you could ask me about how my meditation practice was, it's all about how able I was to focus on what I'm feeling. It's not about the movement. Now relax your arms down into your lap, shake out your shoulders a little bit, and then let's sit back, put your back against the back of the chair, if you've got a straight back chair. If you don't, that's okay. Hold on to the side of your chair just for extra balance. If you're sitting on a couch and you don't, it doesn't matter, that's okay. We're gonna march the knees in place as we breathe. Close your eyes again after I start and you see what to do. Inhale, bend the knee, pull it up as high as it'll go. Exhale, press it into the ground. And then the other one. Keep that marching. Notice where you feel this. Notice, maybe you feel your belly muscles working and they are, imagine them being like a string, like a pulley, pulling the leg up, and setting it back down. Even when you feel like you have, I hear people tell me all the time, my belly's not strong. This belly right now is lifting the legs up and down. 
one more knee up. Press that foot back into the ground. Feel your feet planted where they are. Then sit up tall, away from the back of the chair. We'll come into seated sun salutations. Inhale, bring the arms out to the side. Reach for the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Fold forward. We're trying to fold through the hip crease so we're not straining and rounding the back. Fold forward to wherever you go. That might be here. This might be elbows to lap or hands to lap. Doesn't matter. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. If you have a touchy back or have had back surgeries or you know your back is tweaky, be gentle with it. Bring the hands to the lap and then use them to support you as you fold. Two more. One more. And then rise back up. Breathe in. And exhale. Bring your hands to your heart. Now let's briskly rub the hands back together, back and forth. As we breathe, you can watch me. Or keep your eyes closed. And within just a few breaths, you feel how hot your hands are. You're building energy. That friction behind, between your two hands, you're creating more energy. And you're stimulating the thousands of nerve endings in those sensitive fingertips and palms, which helps both hemispheres of our brain communicate with each other better. They help us process better when we're working both sides of the brain at the same time. And that starts to get awkward you know, <laughs> after a while and the shoulders and arms start to ache. If you need to stop, I'm not watching you, go ahead and stop. A couple of more breaths like this. And then pause, bring the hands apart a little bit and then start to bring them closer together. Do you feel that? The hands are pulsing. And imagine that they, they were glowing with energy around them. Bring your hands closer together and you feel that that push between the two hands away from each other like opposite magnets. That's the energy field between them. Press your hands together and then let them come down. We're going to stand up now. So take a minute. If you need to pause, adjust your chair. I can't pause. I'm going to just turn my chair. And we're going to use the chair to hold on to for balance if we need it. And if you don't need it, it's still there if you need to go to it. So facing the chair, bring one foot back. And first we're just going to stretch out the foot and the toes however you want. Doesn't matter if your knees are bent or straight. I'm just rocking on this back foot, stretching open the toes. I feel it a lot in the arch of my foot, a lot at the base of my calf above the heel. One more like that. Okay, now put that foot flat on the ground. Check out your feet. We don't want the feet to be in a straight line because we're not supposed to walk that way. We walk hip to feet or hip distance apart. So make sure you've got some space there between them as though you were walking on skis or railroad tracks or something. And then we'll come into warrior one. Breathe both or maybe just one arm up to the sky. Exhale, bend that front knee closest to the chair. And then just stay right there. If you have any problems with knees, you may be limited by how much you can bend a knee. It's okay. Doesn't matter. And then again, bring yourself back to what you're feeling. Every inhale, maybe you feel light. You feel that air rushing in. You feel how light you are. But as you exhale, really feel how strong your legs are. and Feel the soles of your feet pressing into the ground. And then notice the rhythm of your breath coming and going, just like the waves of the ocean. You don't have to do anything to make them happen. They're just there automatically. Let that rhythm of your breath lull you a little bit. One more breath. And now let's take both arms. And if you need to hold on to the chair, just use one arm. We're going to take big circles with the arms. Inhale, arms come back. Reach them up. Exhale them down. 
If you're using both arms, you can bring the hands together. One more. And then hold on to the chair, straighten this front leg, and we're just going to turn and face the long side. So the back foot, whatever foot was behind, opens up, the toes face forward, and the other foot could intersect. It's Imagine your feet are doing this. So the heel of the front foot could intersect the arch of the other foot. That's just keeping us in good hip and body alignment. And then inhale one or both arms out to the sides. Exhale, bend the knee that's near the chair. Adjust. It's always good to wiggle, adjust. Find your footing. Don't get one place and feel like you got to stick there. And I always advise, you know, you can close your eyes if you want. I think for balance, it's best if you just keep them open. Now feel this whole shape of you here, the width of your fingertips, this wide wingspan of you. Feel those strong, steady legs like the trunks of these trees anchoring you in place, rooting you to the earth. One more breath. Exhale, take this back arm across your body. You can hold on if you need to into archer. Imagine you're holding a bow and arrow and we're gonna breathe in and pull that bow and arrow back. Exhale, release it and keep that moving. Imagine the bow is really tight. It's always, I've done it once, very, very tight. So imagine you have to use a lot of muscle strength to pull back on that and release that arrow exactly where you want it to go. One more. Let that go. Now open both arms back out to the sides, warrior two. We'll tip over into reverse warrior. Drop the back arm down by the leg. Lift the other arm up to the sky or ceiling. If you need to hold onto the chair, it's okay because you've still got this slight sideways lateral curve through the spine. You feel how open this side is. This side crunching together a little bit. Take some good breaths here. One more breath. Okay, exhale the arms back to warrior two. Now we're going to tip over to the chair. You can bring the arm and elbow to the back of the chair. Reach the other one up. Extended side angle. If this feels just too high and you're stable, you can bring your hand to your thigh, or maybe even the wrist, but don't push it. Go to where you can go. And as we stand here, we can reach that arm even higher, up or at an angle. Huge stretch underneath here. One more breath. Okay, wherever this bottom hand is, leave it there, and we're going to straighten the leg of the, that's by the chair. Triangle. Push this other hip out to the side a tiny bit. Just bump it over like you're going to put your hand on your hip and be sassy. Triangle. And you feel that shift from work in this thigh to now big stretch through the inner thigh and all up the whole left side of the body. It keeps raining on me. <laughs> so I'm noticing that. Okay, use this bottom arm wherever it is to use the strength to push yourself back up to standing. We're always mindful of our backs. Turn back to the chair. We're going to bring this back foot like it was in Warrior One. So it's turned more towards the front of the chair, feet as wide as your hips, and come into Pyramid. Pyramid. We're keeping a pretty straight back. We're going to fold forward just enough that what we feel, what we're looking for, is that stretch in the hamstring. But while keeping the back pretty neutral, pretty straight, and safe. If we bend right here, it's a little bit more of a strain on your back. You're not going to be able to go to perfect straight back. You don't need to. Just mindful of, of that posture. One more breath. OK, 
Okay. Use your arms, push away from the chair, bring the back foot in, and then we'll switch and do the other leg. I'm going to turn my chair. I hope I'm still on screen. Okay, step the right foot back first before Warrior One. No name for this, we're just going to stretch out the foot. These poor, beautiful, long-suffering feet that have carried us through decades of our lives, who have been stuffed into uncomfortable shoes and trotted all over the place, and they ache and they hurt, give them a little bit of love right now, and you're, just, you're giving yourself a little foot massage on the ground. Okay, now set the heel down, just like we did before, feet about as wide as your hips, and the back foot facing more at a front angle. Hold on to the chair, one arm or both arms up, or no arms up, bend the front knee closest to the chair, warrior one, other leg. And be here and breathe and notice what this feels like. No thoughts of, am I doing this right? Or, wow, I wish I could go deeper. No, none of that. Feel this. Feel the strength of your body. Even if it's not what it once was, how great that you have this today, this ability to do this much. One more breath. Okay, arms come down, big circles again, one or both arms, reach them back, hands touch, exhale, hands to heart. Feel your feet gripping ground beneath you, and then feel how light your arms are. Okay, hold on to the chair, straighten the front knee, again, open towards computer camera, um, computer, iPad, whatever you're on. Feet at a uh, right angle to each other now. Heel lining up to the arch. And breathe in one or both arms out. Exhale, bend the knee. Now feel this whole shape of you, this whole physical body that houses who you really are, the part of you that cannot be confined or contained or described by physical traits, the real you. Bring to mind all the things that people who really love you say about you and know that they're right. Those are the things that people love about you. Feel them, bring them to mind and feel them with wide open arms, open chest and heart and acknowledge yourself for everything you've been through and everything that you do. Okay, one more breath, and as you exhale, again, arm across the body to come into archer. If you're unsteady, hold the chair, and we'll just do this arm. Inhale, pull back, exhale, let that arrow go. Two more. One more. Let that go. Open the arms back out. Reverse warrior. We're just going to drop this back arm. Let it be loose. Other arm reaches straight up ahead of you. A little bit behind you. There are no rules in yoga. Everything you can do while being mindful is yoga. Allowing yourself to come to stillness. Feeling that mind, body, and spirit connection. Okay, exhale, back to standing. Now we tip over. Legs stay in warrior two, but we're gonna tip over to the chair at any, wherever you wanna go, maybe the thigh, doesn't matter. Other arm lifts up, wide fingers. Maybe here, maybe here. A million different ways to do it. It's just your expression of it. One more breath. Okay, wherever your hand is, leave it there, and then we'll straighten out that leg. Bump the right hip out again, or whichever hip, the other hip. And there's your triangle. So you can bring the hand to the leg, but you really don't have to. The chair's good enough. It's right there for you. 
if you feel shaky or dizzy or out of balance, I always recommend looking down at the ground underneath you. It's much more grounding. When you try to look straight ahead or even up, it can throw you a bit. One more breath. Use that bottom arm to push back up to standing. Drop that arm down. Face the chair again. Bring the back leg in. And let's fold again into pyramid. It's always okay in anything that we do. When there's, when there's a leg that's straight, I tend to call it straight-ish, it's always okay to put a little soft bend in it to protect your back, to protect the knees. One more breath. Okay, use the arms to press back up. Let's do a little bit of modified downward facing dog. Downward facing dog, we would typically have hands and feet on the floor and making an upside down V with our bottom. We can still do that here, same effect. Hold onto the chair, walk the feet back, and fold right here through the hip crease to wherever it feels good. You've got the support of the chair. March your knees in place. Feel how long your spine is. Big stretch down the backs of the legs. Maybe pick heels up and march them. One more breath and then rise up, walk your feet carefully back to the chair. And then we're going to sit back down in the chair. Sit down and we'll do a little stretch of each hip. Pick a leg, it doesn't matter which one, cross it over, and we're going to sit up tall, and again, always folding right here as I always imagine somebody just whacked you right there and you go oof and fold forward. Arms in the lap or hanging down. And where you feel this is in the hip of the cross leg. If you get here and you're not feeling the stretch at all, you can always go to a little bit more crossing here or even here. If your knees will tolerate it, then you lead forward. And you really can feel this backside. Like if it was on a heat map, it would be wah. You really feel that stretch there. One more breath. Okay, push back to sitting up. Help that cross leg come down and switch. Other leg over to whatever degree you need to go to. Breathe in, sit up tall. Exhale, keeping the back as neutral and straight as you can. Fold right here through the crease where the legs meet the torso. One more breath here. Okay, use your hands and arms to push away from your lap. Help that leg uncross. Now let's take just a few minutes to just sit and meditate and breathe and feel what we're feeling. My favorite, when I'm in my studio, I like to take blankets, folded blankets, or you could do towels and put them in my lap and it gives you this sense of groundedness, the weight of the blankets. They don't have to be weighted, just a little bit of something right here in your lap. You can tuck your hands inside them. Close your eyes and breathe. Now imagine your whole body as though it were an hourglass that's just been turned over. Heavy on top, all this weight and sand up in the top of you. And as you breathe, imagine that all that sand is slowly draining down into the bottom part of your body. Each breath lets more drain through. 
you imagine as so much of the st sand starts to come to the bottom of you that just like an hourglass you start to see that clearness that empty part of the glass in the top of the hourglass imagine that's your forehead open and clear and as you breathe all that sand empties out of the top of your head sliding down the area of your eyes, your ears, your nose, down to your mouth and your jaw until with another breath it leaves your whole head and is traveling down your neck and that leaves your head open and clear and bright. Now the sand keeps draining down and you start to feel it. Imagine you can feel it pooling sand and weight and tension pooling into your hips and your pelvis and as it leaves the upper half of you imagine that that sand is splitting into the two thighs filling up your thighs with that weight and the sand drains down out of your shoulders it leaves your chest pools in your belly and in your seat couple of more breaths and all that sand leaves your torso and your seat and it's all in the legs and it's still draining it's still pouring down through those knees down into the calves and shins filling them up all the way down to your heels through the soles of your feet into your toes leaving the whole rest of your body completely open and clear. We create space in our mind. We create space in our bodies. Now imagine that last little bit of sand straining out of your legs all the way down into your feet. And imagine it can, that your soles of your feet are porous and all that sand can drain out of your feet and be left behind in the earth. Feel this ground beneath you, even if you're in the house and you're pressing on carpet and foundation of your house, what's beneath that? The ground, the earth. It is steady, it is constant. The earth has seen so many changes and such a pendulum effect on itself from the history of the beginning of time and it's still here. Let that help you feel grounded and secure and safe, knowing that we will all get through the coronavirus together. We're all at home. We're all scrambling to figure out what to do with our kids. We're bored. But we're doing this together, every one of us globally, earth beneath each one of us. Take one last breath here and let it out and then bring your hands together at your heart. You can bow your head towards your fingertips or you can just take your thumbs and press them into your breastbone. And take one last breath that's only for you before you have to go back to work online or back to the kids or watching the news updates, whatever you've got to do. May this practice carry you through the rest of this day and through the, all the days until we're able to practice together again. And I hope you benefited from this practice as much as I did, because I really did. And it didn't rain, and the sun's out now. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.